So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, it is time again for a tip and trick uh, with Power BI. I don't know if this is something that you've run into this issue. If you haven't, make sure you stay tuned so you don't make this mistake because it will take cost you time and of course time is money. If you have, we have a tip in case you haven't um, come up with it yourselves. So the issue is when you have dark backgrounds and white text. You will see, I'm going to show you what the issue is and uh, the workaround that does not work all the way, but it solves some of the issues at least. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are in Power BI with this absolutely gorgeous uh, report. This is our Power BI for beginners and advanced users demo. And the only thing we've done is we just give them, given it a dark uh, background and then we have a white text. So the text is visible, you know, against that very, very dark background. This is very common, especially if you have like a company logos that are dark. This, this could be uh, how your reports look like. Now, there is a huge issue on doing this and I'm going to show you. If you expand the tile, the numbers and the labels are gone. Do you see? Because when you expand the tile, the background does not follow along. It just gets a white background and then nothing. You can't see nothing. Look at this. It's like the invisible report. Oh, this is, this is absolutely terrible. Um, so what happens if you try to do a mobile report, as you can see, the background follows along. So if you have this transparent enough, you will be able to see the text, which is good. If you don't, if you have more like a wise background, then you won't be able to see the, um, you know, the letters either. So be careful with that. But, uh, Still, these, let's, here, this is not so good, right? Uh, so how to fix this? The way to fix it is actually a trick my designer found out and thank you for that because otherwise we've been in trouble many times. So if you go to background, what you can do is set it on and then you set it on as black. And then if you open it up, you can see here the level of transparency that you won't need to give it so you actually can see something. So you can say it's 77 is okay. And yes, it gets a darker color, but still you can see things when you know, you're expanding this, which is actually the purpose of it. So you just go through everyone, which is an absolute pain, I give you that, but better than nothing. And then you just open them up and adjust so you can actually see the text. And you need to do that for each and every one of those. Let's do the last one. So so, go here, black, and then 77. It is not beautiful, but it is actually better than nothing. At least when they go up here, they can see um, the text. Customers will not be like super happy, but <laughs> If they want to keep the dark background with their company colors, this is the only way to do it. Now, I said in the beginning that this solves the problem partially. And the reason for that, I'm going to show you now. So here we are in powerbi.com in the cloud and we have published our report. And no problem, it looks absolutely gorgeous like it did before, but you know, you want to pin one of these things to a dashboard, 
I, I really cannot see it. I don't know if you can. I can't see where the pins are. I can only guess because I know where they are and these things pop up. Uh, okay, they should be there. And here I can see it a little bit better because it's darker. Here I see nothing. So what is it? There. So we pin it. We go to dashboard and white. So the background that you added on Power BI desktop does not get preserved here. So we see absolutely nothing. And if you go to say, oh, I'm going to do a phone version, white. <laughs> In dashboards, the trick does not work. So um, it, it is a, definitely a total pain. There is in the Power BI community, uh, somebody that actually complained about it. Uh, he said, okay, I have all these gorgeous black and white dashboards and I can't see anything. Unfortunately, the response was like, use red instead. That's not, not uh, perhaps what he wanted. And they say that there are some ideas here that you can actually vote. I did not see exactly what I wanted on any of these, but I will post a link to the entire thread so you can vote to the one that you think is, fits better. I don't know, you should probably consolidate those too. But uh, yeah, my trick solves the issue partially, not completely. But it will help you in case your customer really, 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 really wants to use dark color and white text. And perhaps they don't use dashboards that much. So the Power, Power BI mobile reports will work and the reports will also work. So perhaps it's not that bad. But I really hope that Microsoft fix it. Microsoft, please fix it, fix it, fix it. This is not cool. We want a solution. Okay. So this is all for today, and um, I really hope you enjoyed this trick. So as I said previously, the, this is all for today. I really hope you enjoy the video and you find the trick useful in case you have this type of dark, dark backgrounds or you want to have them. If you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you know anybody that would like to know that trick too, please share. And uh, comments, questions, suggestions, as usual, uh, comment box or social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.